In physics and cosmology, we have a fundamental and integral goal to unify the macroscopic state, which is described by classical mechanics and general relativity, with the microscopic state, which is described by quantum mechanics. The harmonious unification of these two states is often called a theory of everything. To know your cosmology, I would like to explicate the most popular models for quantum gravity thus far produced. The most popular quantum gravity model is string theory. It is popular because some theoretical physicists like the mathematical elegance of the theory. String theory holds that matter and energy are made up of oscillating strings. String theory also entails brains and many extra dimensions. Another quantum gravity model that is fairly popular is called loop quantum gravity. LQG entails that space at the quantum level is a fabric of quantized loops of excited gravitational fields called spin networks. Loop quantum gravity does not entail all the higher extra dimensions of string theory. A third contender for the theory of everything is called causal dynamical triangulations. CDT uses a pentacoron to break up space into triangular sections and then employing causality allows us to evolve the proper dimensions of the macroscopic universe. CDT employs a modified quantum ray calculus in conjunction with a triangulation process. Another quantum gravity model is called Euclidean quantum gravity which has been written about by Stephen Hawking and G.W. Gibbons. EQG entails a weak rotation with four dimensional Riemannian manifolds. EQG has no boundaries and has compactified manifolds which means it eliminates singularities. And the final quantum gravity model I want to cover was proposed and created by Anthony Garrett Lisi called E8 theory. The E8 theory is an extension of GUT with a four dimensional base manifold using a modified BF action. The E8 theory can place the fundamental particles and forces on an E8 pattern. 